With an FC TV with Chris Agata following today's 3-2 win at home against Tunbridge Angels in the National League South. Aggie, uh, your thoughts on that one? Yeah, very happy. Um, very happy. Good, good side. Tunbridge, I think, have only lost one game before today. So, uh, yeah, good side. Um, full of energy. Like I said, play a mixed game as well. So, they, they pose lots of different questions. So, very pleased to come for it. Um, probably most pleasing was the spell after half time where we went. Um, Two one up and then three one up. I thought that was probably the best we played this year. That spell of 10, 15 minutes where um, you know we we looked like a very good team like on and off the ball. Um, yeah, that that that's the biggest takeaway and the most pleasing part today. Yeah, and it's something you've spoken about on countless occasions, turning those moments into spells and spells, obviously into into halves yeah. and, and full games as well. I, it must have been so pleasing to see a, quite a complete performance today. They had to battle hard uh, against a strong Tunbridge side and, and came away and created loads of chances as well. Yeah, I mean, we've, we've won four four in a row and the big thing is we've reached a bit more, like I said, robust, a bit more aggressive and physical and if teams are going to um, take anything off of us, they've got to earn it. And I, think, I think that you can see that today. Uh, I thought Glennon came Wills was superb in midfield. I thought they outmanned Tunbridge's midfield, to be fair. Um, they'd done exactly what we wanted them to do. Um, not so much for the first goal, but for Tunbridge. But, uh, but in general, they were very good. Um, and then, like I said, that that period of time after half-time, um, we were very good. And uh, just a shame that we conceded so quickly after going three one up. So I think if we get through that next sort of ten minutes, I think we could cash in and go four and five. Um, because you just felt that confidence was up, obviously winning the game convincingly, it just started to click a little bit and it was the first time this season really where I thought, oh here we go, like this is this is now a team that I'm um, getting really excited about. So that, that's positive. Looking at the goals this afternoon, a bit of a collector's item for Alfie Young for the first one, and then Mo Farr scoring again, and, yeah. and Nicky Wheeler off the mark now this season. Must be really pleased that, that the goals are being shared around as well. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there's another three goals, so no shortage of goals scored this year, which is good. So hopefully the supporters have got decent uh, entertainment value. Um, shame about the two at the other end, but um, yeah. Obviously, Alfie from the throw. Um, OB's throw is a it's a problem for the opposition um, and he, he will get loads of plaudits for um, the throw and there'll be a lot of talk about that but I thought again he was very 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 good today like him with a shout out man of the match um, so yeah Alfie has done really well um, great finish actually um, and then um, it was Nicky when Nicky got the second was it? Mo got the second yeah. <laughs> Nicky yeah. the first yeah <laughs> That was a great goal because Joel, yeah. a lot of players um, have a shot on the angle, didn't they? But he's, he's cut one back. We talk a lot about playing the extra pass and passes inside the penalty box and working. I mean, probably a bit cheesy, but working into sort of tapping positions. Um, that was a brilliant play from Joel, who, who I thought was outstanding. Mo, so five and seven, so it's good. Um, and again, it, like he pulled up in the in the warm up as well. well um, sort of reoccurring ankle problem he, he, uh, he has so um, that's why we took him off to be honest because he wasn't 100% fit so um, yeah great goal great team goal and then obviously Nicky I thought Nicky was superb today as well so I think there was lots of really good performances but um, you know Nicky spent a long time on the sideline last year and I think he's getting used to playing um, playing again and sort of first couple of months but potentially was a bit short of where we'd like him to be but you can see now he's getting back into his rhythm and I thought it was a great goal another really good team goal You spoke at the start there about pleasing the supporters there were 1900 in yeah. here today again another great crowd so how pleasing is it for you and, and how grateful are you of, of the supporters as oh, well It's unbelievable it's brilliant uh, do you know the, the biggest takeaway is when we went 1-0 down there was no feeling of negativity around it other than probably in the dugout uh, we weren't very happy at all but the, the, the sort of the feeling from the supporters was brilliant. Um, and we said about as cheesy as like 12th man and stuff like that. And, uh, they, were, they were superb today. Um, 
I mean, the biggest cheer was Freddie Black's double double tackle. And it's brilliant. It's brilliant. And um, you know, for for us as a staff, feeling that in the dugout, and I'm sure for the players on the pitch, it uh, makes a huge difference. So we really appreciate it. Looking ahead now onto Tuesday, the the, com- the games are coming yeah. thick and fast. It's a long trip to Torquay, another tough challenge, but one you're looking forward to, no doubt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we've got a group of players that uh, Torquay away is a big game, but I don't worry about those games. Torquay away under lights, you know, with the players that we've got, that's, that's their bag, isn't it? Like, you know, you know, you know, Cash is going to play well. You know, Spong is going to play well. Um, building on today, that's one thing I didn't mention. I thought Spong was. Is in with a shout man and as well. I think that's the best he's played this year as well. I thought he, he was excellent. But yeah, you know those guys are gonna uh, relish the challenge really. Um I worry more about Saturday three o'clock, um, when the sun's shining and yeah, it's whereas I, you know that there's gonna be a real atmosphere there and um, as I said they're, they're a big football club, there'll be a big support there. So we really look forward to it and um yeah, hopefully keep building on the, the momentum that we've built over the last sort of few weeks.